Hello everyone, today we're gonna do a fun yoga flow to wake up your day. Let's get started. We're gonna start standing at the top of our mat. We're gonna squeeze the arms up, big breath in. Exhale, hinging from our hips, folding forward. Please take a moment here. It's okay if this is your first stretch of the day. You may not feel going all the way forward is really available just yet, that's okay. Take a moment, just start to move a little side to side. Maybe move those ribs, shift those ribs. Maybe we're clasping the elbows and just swaying. Let's let that head hang heavy. Take a couple moments, release that tension. Then we're gonna soften our knees, release our hands, take another slow relax to standing, breathe in. Exhale again, hinging from those hips. Just take that forward fold. This time, lifting the gaze for monkey pose. We can have our hands on our ankles, our shins, our knees, our thighs, wherever we can find that flat back. So we wanna find that flat back, breathe in. And then exhale, release, fold over the knees. Now let's try bending into those knees. Just feel how that releases that low back. Let's keep the hips sitting back and sweep the arms up, breathe in, chair pose. Exhale, press through the legs, lift the chest, stand. And again, forward fold, breathe in. Exhale, lift the gaze, find that monkey pose, inhale, exhale, re-fold, bend the knees, sweep the arms up, chair pose, breathe in, exhale, flying chair, pull the elbows back, lift the heels, wake up that core, lower the heels, arms sweep up, inhale, exhale, re-fold, over those legs, inhale, exhale, lift the gaze, monkey pose, soften over the thighs, bend the knees, sit the hips back, chair pose again, Exhale, heels lift, flying chair. And then we're gonna go ahead and lower the heels, press the legs all the way up. And then this time we're gonna add on, folding over the legs. Bend the knees, lift the gaze. We're gonna stay here, bring our hands down and lunge just that left leg back. From there, sweep your arms back like you did for that flying chair. And then sweep your arms all the way up, pull the body up with you, high lunge, breathe in. Let's exhale, turn into a warrior two. So turning off that back heel, so the toes gaze. that left hand to your right foot, ankle, knee, or maybe the mat, or maybe even a block here, raise that right arm hand. Breathe in, twisting through that spine. Exhale, both hands down. Let's just find a pyramid pose for a moment. You're welcome to step your back in a little closer here if needed. Take a moment and breathe. Matching your breath. Let's exhale, bend into that front knee again. Sweep back up, warrior one this time. Palms are in front of the head. We're going to push off of our back foot and bring that back foot in to find our tree pose. So I'm just turning forward so you can see, but either at your ankle, calf, or maybe all the way up to your thigh, take a moment, catch your breath. Just pause, a moment of stillness, find a point of focus, something in front of you that's not moving. Breathe in. Exhale, let's wrap that thigh. So left thigh wraps over the right, begin to sit back. Raise the arms like you're coming into chair pose. Eagle with our arms raised, and then we're going to add the wrapped arms. So wrap left arm over right, hands either back to back or palms together. Lift those elbows, draw the elbows towards the knees, breathe in. Sitting those hips back, and then exhale, let's open up, unwind, circle the wrist. Still at the top of that mat, let's swish those arms all the way up, breathe in. Exhale, hinge from the hips back, forward fold. Bend through the knees, lift the gaze, hands down to the mat, this time lunging right leg back. Keep that leg back, breathe in. Exhale, lift up high, lunge, breathe in. Take a moment. Beautiful here. Arms sweep back again, like you did in that flying chair. Lift back up one more time, and then turn into that warrior two. Gaze over those front fingertips. Take a moment, feel strong here. Shoulders stacked over the hips, catch your breath. Flip the front palm, reach up and back. Peaceful warrior, breathe in. Beautiful, take some nice deep breaths. Exhale. Coming back up, very good job. Straighten that front leg, let's take a triangle. Hand to your knee, ankle, foot, the mat, wherever you need to reach. Top arm reaches nice and high, triangle pose, three. Beautiful job, reach that right arm long, down until you reach your foot, ankle, the mat, a floor, a block, whatever you need. And then once that gaze is done, left arm reaches, revolve, triangle, twist it out, just wake up every part of your body. Pyramid pose, just breathe 
And feel free to adjust if you need to step that back foot in a little closer. Whatever you need in this moment. Okay? So bend into that front and sweep up. And our warrior one. on that standing leg. And then take the wrapped arms, right elbow over left this time, elbows pull together, drawing those elbows towards the knees, breathe in. Exhale, you can do it, breathe in. Exhale, take one more breath in, let's exhale, unwind, circle those wrists, beautiful job. As we stand at the top of our mat again, let's inhale those arms up. Exhale, find that forward fold, lift our face muscles. Exhale, bend the knees, hands to the mat, lunging back or jumping back into a plank. However you want to get there, find your strong plank, core is strong, breathe in. Exhale, shift your heels forward, lower through chaturanga, bend the elbows, let's curl the chest up, cobra upward dog, breathe in. Exhale, roll the spine down, inhale. Exhale, lift the chest back up. Two more, just rolling down, breathe in. Exhale, lift the chest up one more time, rolling down, breathe in. Exhale, lift, hold at the top. Round through the spine, child. Let's take a moment in breathe. Let's do a few ripples from our cobra or upward dog back into child pose. So we're going to snake the body through. We'll lift up, breathe in. Exhale, gaze down at the belly. Round back through a cat stretch. Sit the hips back. Two more times like this. Lift your own hips, curling up. And then looking at the belly, rounding back through child's pose. One more time. Beautiful, and round that child's pose. Very nice. Take a moment in child's pose. Release that lower back. Let's come back up to our hands and knees. Just take a big cat stretch. Release for cow. One more time, big cat stretch. Release for cow. Circle left arm high. Let's thread left arm under right. Threading the needle, push with the right arm. Open and twist through the back. Maybe even open the chest if you wish. Reaching that right arm overhead if you wish. Wave up that upper body. Beautiful here. Bring the right hand back down. Press back up to the hand. Big cat stretch again. Release for cow. And then right arm reaches up. Breathe in. Wake up that body. Exhale, thread right arm under left. Push a little with the left hand. Beautiful job. You can even reach the left arm over top of you. And bring those wrists back under the shoulders, back up into our tabletop position one more time. Cut stretch. Then find that cow. And then tuck the toes back through downward dog. We're going to walk those feet out. Just tread the heels. Beautiful job here. Let's shift through plank now. So you can go through our full vinyasa, lower chaturanga, lifting cobra or upward dog. Exhale, back through downward dog. We're going to do that just two more times at our own pace. Rippling through split, lowering chaturanga, hold our upward dog, releasing exhale, downward dog. One more time, feel free to move at your own pace here. So just shift again into that split, lower chaturanga, hold our upward dog, back into downward dog. Just walk those feet out. Just sweep our right leg nice and high, big breath in. Exhale, sweep the right knee to the hand. Pigeon, lift through the chest. In. Exhale, chest folds over that right leg. Let's just take three to five breaths here. Just doing a short wake up practice this morning or afternoon or evening, whenever you're doing this class. So just using this moment to collect all of that we've done throughout the other movements, other poses, and release any tension that may have built up in our body. Just breathe into that hip. One more breath in. Let's exhale, come back up to our hands. Tuck our back toes. Sweep that right leg high again. Breathe in. Exhale, lower the right foot. Let's let our left leg sweep up. Breathe in. Exhale, sweep your left knee up to those hands. Release for pigeon. Remember, in pigeon heel, can be close to your head or more up towards your hand. Fish. Lift 
the top. Our chapter is at the board for room. Take a few moments. Three to five breaths. Release any tension. Here, we're gonna go ahead from here, take our back leg, let it sweep around, finding a butterfly position, okay? So in our butterfly, let's sit nice and tall, let our ear drop to my shoulder. Other side, let the head roll side to side. Take a big stretch up and over, circle through center, side and up. Other way, stretch, circle through center, side, Coming up, now we're reaching up. Let's reach forward and take three to five breaths here. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. One more breath in. Exhale, let's come up. We're going to just close our knees. Just do a little swish of those knees side to side. Letting go of any tension in them, coming to the side of the mat. We're going to just plant our feet at the back of our thighs and roll our body down, slowly one vertebrae at a time. Arms reach overhead, and we're just going to do a spinal roll, tipping the pelvis, rolling the hips down. We're going to Exhale, melt the spine down, arms overhead. And one more time like this, just roll those hips high, release any tension. Exhale, melt the spine down. And then just keep your arms overhead, slide your feet together, take a reclined butterfly. We're going to stay here for a few moments. If you want to take your Shavasana here today, if you'd like, you can let your palms come by your side and maybe even slide your legs out for that traditional Shavasana. Three to five breaths or longer if you have time today and you want to stay in your Shavasana. Just stay here and enjoy this moment. If you're choosing just those three to five breaths, still use this moment as a time to just re-energize your body. Let go of any stress or tension of your day. And let's set an intention for our day today. Whether we're in the evening, midday, or morning, just set intention for maybe even the rest of your week to bring love, light, positivity, and gratitude into every action every word that we say, making sure that we're moving with love. So, thinking about how we might do that, meditating on that, and setting that intention. Finding something you're grateful for to bring with us throughout the day, throughout the week, to help us keep that mentality of love, light, positivity, and gratitude. And if we're breathing, and at least be grateful for that. We have our breath. Coming back to that breath anytime. Once you're ready, we'll just reach those arms overhead. Big breath in. Exhale, release it. Just walking those feet in. Again, some of you may stay longer in that shavasana, but if you're coming out with me here, feel free to rock up to sit. Finding our cross-legged or lotus position. Inhale the palms together. Exhale the palms in front of our forehead, reminding us to keep our thoughts full of love, full of truth, positivity, and gratitude. Palms in front of our lips. Again, keeping our words true, loving, and again, full of gratitude and positivity. And our hearts full of love, light, positivity, and gratitude. Namaste. Thank you for moving with me today. Can't wait to see you soon. Have a great day.